r slash ask reddit. Calmavicious says. What's the most vengeful thing you've ever done? Hootai Owl Sissus says. A girl, named Bridget, would bully all the awkward slash bookish girls in junior high. I wrote Bridget is fat on the bathroom wall. Not two hours later I heard her friends reassuring her she wasn't fat, she wasn't. She was paranoid about her weight four years afterwards. I felt bad, but at the same time she was a evil bizatch. Sorry underscore nothing 3016 says. Something similar. I was being mercilessly teased at a HS football game. All the girls were saying that I was flat and laughing. I shouted well her fat to the lead instigator. She was slightly chunky and conscious of her weight. You would have thought I murdered her mother in front of her eyes. All the girls looked at me like I was the devil. They rallied around the lead instigator and told her she was not fat and she instantly had tears in her eyes. I was pissed that no one gave a crap that I was being t said but apparently being called fat trumps flat. Years later I ran into the girl I called fat and she brought up her weight. She said something like I try hard to maintain my weight. As an adult, I realized that me calling her fat had a way bigger effect on her than her calling me flat. I've been out of HS for 30 years and I still think about this obviously. Arvis1983 says. Glass houses. Marquette.live says. I have an old boss that was a truly insufferable dickhead. I had his personal ML and address and I still use it to this day to sign him up for shit he doesn't want. Oh you want to stop and ask me about solar panels? Sure I'll make an appointment. Formal Rain says. That is amazing. Illustriamusosalot underscore says. I do revenge spam all the time, it's a great way to vent. Lilyra says. I was invited to a sleepover at the home of a girl whose older sister had bullied my older sister for years. I didn't know the girl who invited me too well, but I went anyway, snuck away, went to the older sister's bathroom, she was out, and poured nair in her shampoo. She didn't lose all her hair, but she lost a lot of it. Hootai Owl Sissus says. You're a good sister. Art underscore hoax says. So she was a bully and an idiot, nair smells like burning flesh nothing like shampoo. A Dan Stormy says. I saw my ex on Crime Stoppers for breaking into storage buildings. I called and turned him in. No underscore interest underscore 6924 says. That's hardly vengeful, that's a gosh on public service. RMSQM says. I once set up a fake dating profile and messaged my ex-wife. Of course I knew just what to say to hook her. I set up a coffee date and then no showed by messaging her that I had walked in, saw her, and left because she was so unattractive. Yeah, I'm not proud of it. In my defense, she was doing everything in her power to make my life a living hell at the time, and she was succeeding. Droidon says. I had a brief moment in my life where me and my buddies would make fake profiles of super hot girls and then message all the dudes we went to school with who were terrible. I felt I got my revenge by sending their dick pics to their parents slash boss slash friends. I had a few people tell me what I was doing was super frick ed up so I stopped. But I felt pretty vengeful at the time. Somonalist says. If she was really making you miserable for no reason other than pure spite, or created unnecessary issues slash drama, to make you suffer without justification I think it's fair enough, she crossed the line, and stayed there, and you had a little jump over to say hi. Hope you're doing better. Thela Disinkler says. On one ranch we worked on there was one ranch hand, M, who would always say nasty sexual things to both me, and my daughter who was 15 at the time. He always tried to get physically close to us, so he could accidentally touch, or brush by us, and push his crotch against us. We were hesitant to tell my husband, because we didn't want him to go to prison for murder. I was heading home one evening, after having gone to town that day. 
I saw M in one of the orange trucks parked on the side of the road by another truck. They were transferring what looked like a fresh butcher deer hind quarter from the ranch truck into the other one. Now, the interesting part was that it was not deer season, so I knew he had been poaching. The next day I tossed off a little anonymous note to the BLM, Bureau of Land Management, letting them know about the poaching. About two weeks later we hear that M has been arrested for poaching deer. Apparently, they found numerous carcasses of does and older fawns and a couple carcasses of smaller calves as well. I'm glad they found out, somehow. Close bracket. R slash R credit. Sharp Zamin says. What's a piece of pop culture from your childhood that you still enjoy today? Lestarka Torture says. Early season Simpsons episodes. Thesic Pisa Suits says. Tetris. Rajin Kajan 88 says. Hey Arnold. Bingers for Life says. Fallout Boy. Bam Speck says. Harry Potter movies. Probably gonna watch one for my day off tomorrow. Mratu Mori says. Arthur. Agreeable underscore birthday 22 says. Jenna Jameson. Pininvin says. Muppet Treasure Island. Kayla 3000 says. Batman, the animated series. Dark Mato Endura says. Old episodes of Married with Children. Couldn't make a show like that today which is sad af. Nerval Shorset says. Scooby Doo. Imptisadad says. Star Trek. I grew up on reruns in the 70s, and am loving the series they are producing today. Dot Cube says. Zelda. It's been a video game franchise since 1986. I haven't played the vast majority of them, but Breath of the Wild and the newest one share element going all the way back. After playing the 6 year old game, I'll probably have to start Tears of the Kingdom. Lassie J underscore Zo says. Tamagotchi, I move around a lot, and haven't ever had a real pet, but that little guy gets fed every day. Ultimbo says. 90s movies in general. They are so much better than modern movies. Changelink says. Roughly 90% of them. Article for underscore 3353 says. Disco. Nabra27 says. The Lil Wayne era from 2006 to 2013. Bro ran the industry and made an unreal amount of hits so casually. Some of the best bars ever wrapped as well. Old underscore army 90 says. Pokemon, specifically gens 1 through 5. Jazz like underscore success underscore 968 says. All of it. I hate change, and I can't let go of anything come back peewee. Mocha has an opinion says. Music, Michael, Whitney, Madonna, Sign Deal Opera and Prince are some favorites, cartoons X-Men, Smurfs, Scooby-Doo, Thundercats, Punky Brewster, Pippi Longstockings, any 80s movie. ZWCX4 says. Oddworld. Sad Black at 666 says. I still play my Nintendo 3rds and DS Lite. Inevitable Music 7799 says. Rock'em Sock'em Robots, The Game of Life, Battleship, The Flintstones, The Waltons, Cinnamon Toothpicks. 86 Missing Gnomes says. DDR. Shinja Tapopo says. Scap. I'm not afraid to admit I like third wave music that tried to bring happiness. Content underscore pool underscore 1391 says. All those shows from early 2000 on the CW network. Smallville, Roswell, One Tree Hill, Veronica Mars, Charmed, Supernatural. Raw Shark 24 says. The Beatles. Ash Ketchup says. The Nintendo Thirds. Ildudarino 2112 says. 
Small Soldiers was my favorite movie as a kid, and I still watch it at least once a year. Gumtree Gazer says. First read Finn Family Moom Intro 1967. Ali 8 Lie says. Spongebob, I still watch it, when I'm really sad and just need a happy cartoon. CWSJR2323 says. I still have my American Bricksets and Tinker Toys from the 1950s. No, you may not play with them. Only myself and the grandkids can touch them. Kfdeverabadi says. Power Rangers. It just always hits the nostalgia feels for some reason. It's more fin time. Simpler just a concept says. Barbie. Space 2345 says. G.I. Joe. Disgenesuave says. Legus. Boomer79NZ says. The music. The 80s was a great time for music. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.